Yo, what's up, guys? Teacher Paul over here, and today we are going to talk about CID Musa. I have just watched the film, and we are going to review it. So, guys, I'm I'm still in the laughing state because this is um, a classic comedy film. So this is a Malayala movie, and it's with Dilip. It's also a film that is very. Um, what do you call it? It's very nostalgic. And there's there's actually a word, which I can't remember the word now, but of a feeling of nostalgia without you having gone through that nostalgia, you know? And that's what I felt watching this. Because I think um, it has a lot of rel uh, relatable comedy. And this is the type of comedy that I actually enjoy. It doesn't have over-exaggerated comedy it doesn't have this cringe type of um comedy it, it has a simple subtle comedy to it um and it's the type of comedy that is unexpected so they bring a lot of unexpected things and um, moments that make it funny you're you're not expecting that to happen and the element of surprise makes it um humorous makes it comedic you know what i'm saying um, and the whole idea that this film is about a, uh, a a guy who dreams of joining the police force, but because of the you know the the corrupted commissioner, he decides to become a CID officer instead, which is a private detective, right? Um, I, I forgot what CID stands for, but you guys can help me in the comments. Um, so the whole fact that this is a film that shows the, this guy trying to get his dreams, that is, like, reach his dreams and his goals, that in itself is um, an, um, uh, an emotional and motivational film. So that is an element of surprise that you don't expect from a comedy film. Because this man is over here... <laughs> And he is trying his best to um, become a police officer, but he is a funny guy himself. So he goes through life with his goal and he accidentally falls into some situations where he is able to showcase what he can actually do as an officer. So it, this movie is more than a comedy, you know, and Dilip also delivers a nice performance where he can be funny, he can do action. Um, I don't know about romantic. I didn't feel his riz. I don't think he did something too romantic in this film, but he tried. He tried his best. But um, it's because the, the, the romantic moments were very comedic. Um, but I really enjoy the fact that it's not a forced comedy. You know, it, I don't think it's a forced comedy. And I also like that it's classic. So it's an evergreen film. Speaking of Evergreen, I think the music here is also very well used. The, the uh, original soundtrack is very well used. I think that what they did here with the soundtrack, the sound mixing, is um, something that will keep this movie uh, relatable throughout the years. And the comedy is simple, you know, it's, it's situational comedy. It's things that are unexpected. <laughs> but at the same time, relatable. You know what I'm saying? Um, there are some scenes here that make you laugh, and there are some scenes that they do go over the top. So, for example, um, if you go to... Yeah, guys, go to the Malayalam channel if you haven't seen that channel yet. Or actually, if you're watching this on Malayalam channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, as I was saying, this movie has a few scenes that... Um, do go over the top a little bit for comedic purposes. For example, there's the the CID mu uh, music, right? Hi, my name is Hi, my name is Musa, or Hiya, Mr. Mu it's Hiya, Mr. Musa. Hiya, Mr. Musa. Da, da, da. That scene is very cartoon-like. The comedy is cartoon-like, and um, growing up watching cartoons like um, Tom and Jerry, uh, Looney Tunes, and all of those things. It kind of makes it connect to our childhood comedy, our childhood humor. So I think that's um, a comedy that kind of 
touches the innocence of humor. You know what I'm saying? So it's simple, it's innocent humor. There are there aren't any forced um, comedy into this. There's no um, vulgar comedy. It's just a simple genius way of making comedy and when i say genius i think of a scene where he is singing in hindi but only using um movie titles so that was one of the highlights of this film which makes it genius um the plot twists are well there wasn't any wow plot twist moments but um it's a comedy so i, th I think the the plot in itself is it was funny enough for it to be a comedy um, but it was also interesting enough to be a crime a crime story you know what I'm saying um, the characters were well developed they didn't have an overwhelming amount of characters they had the right amount I, I would say um, and it also leaves a little bit of questioning for a second film what is he gonna do in Scotland why did he go to Scotland um, you know, what happened with the crazy guy, the madman, you know, in the plane. All of these things, um, they leave room for, I want a little bit more about, you know, C.A.D. Musa. I want to see C.A.D. Musa in action. So, um, it's interesting to see. Did he get his license finally? You know, and hopefully if there is a second film, it will be, um, it will be very interesting. It will probably capture still that essence. Most of the Malayalam comedy is like this, situational comedies, no exaggeration, yeah. So it's a Mollywood feature. And the thing about Mollywood films, I think they are very story-based and um, the acting also is very important. And I think that happens with lower budget films where they invest everything they have in making good films instead of investing it in budget the budget in marketing purposes because either you use your money for talent and making good stories with good actors or you use that budget to pay for distribution and i think the malayalam industry values quality over distribution over marketing and i think that's what makes it a great film what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. I will give a rating of... I would say, because this is an old film, a classic film, I would give it an 8.9 out of 10. 8.9 out of 10. Because it's an older film, and um, some comedy, some, j just a little bit, is, um, for me who's watching it for the first time, is a little bit outdated. Like there's a comedy moment where um, one of the criminals, uh, the, the thief, the, the funny thief, he gets out of jail to help the police officer. See, that scene I've seen being used in Hot Shots with um, Charlie Sheen. There are other moments that there, it's comedy that I've already seen before. So because of that, and it's not no fault of the movie. It's, it's no fault of the movie. It's just that these comedy moments are um, outdated for someone who's watching it today because um, some people have used it in other films. And also, there are some moments, like for example, in the beginning, they referenced Zorro, and nobody talks about Zorro nowadays. So... I think if they make a film into 2024, it would be um, in the nines. But for now, I'll give it an 8.9. I would very much be interested in knowing what is the IMDb rank here. And guys, 8.9 is, is a very high score. Um, I, I believe that this is a very good film, even if you're watching it today. And if you haven't seen this film, then you should go watch it. Um, and... I think it's a film that it is evergreen and even if you haven't seen it before you will enjoy it even though it's old it's 21 years old it, the comedy still stands on its own feet and even if you're watching it today in 2024 you're still you're still you're still gonna laugh at it you're still gonna appreciate it as a comedy film
which is hard for a comedy because most comedies nowadays are outdated. But that's my opinion. What do you guys think? Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you on the next video. Take care now. Bye-bye. Now you can get full access to exclusive content, special reactions to shows, series, anime, full movies, and even request a video of your choice. Just become a YouTube member or join Buy Me A Coffee today. Find out more. The link is in the description. Never